We're coming to you from the Global Washington Annual Conference, Smarter Approaches to a Changing World, here at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle, Washington. Ed, you're here at the Global Washington Conference with Habitat for Humanity, but you have one of the strongest backgrounds in microfinance. Do the two mix? They do mix. Uh, I'm very excited about work that I've been doing with Habitat for Humanity International that combines Habitat's knowledge and strength in in home building and building housing solutions for the poor with microfinance, which helps to fund a lot of new and inventive things that the poor are doing to make their lives better. So we've been working together for a number of years. I'm an advisor to Habitat, and we've launched a social investment fund a few years ago called MicroBuild, mm -hmm. which brings social investors and Habitat together in 30 countries around the world to help these microfinance institutions lend money to the poor so they can put on a new roof or put in a new kitchen or a bathroom, uh, indoor plumbing, sanitary solutions, and they pay those loans back. They're small loans. They may be under $1,000. On average, they're about $1,000. To build a house? Well, it's not a whole house. It's a segment of a house. Think of it like a, a home improvement loan. Okay. We would think of it like a home improvement loan here. And it's really for the working poor, not the abject poor, but those that have some means that want to put on a roof, they just can't get the finance. So Habitat is helping provide that. I'm, I'm hearing these words a lot. I'm hearing social enterprise. I'm hearing social investors. Right. I'm not hearing charity. Well, this, the work that I've been working with Habitat is creating a social investment fund. So it is social investors putting together money, a hundred million dollars. And that's going to get returned to them at some point in the future. But this never would have happened without Habitat for Humanity. It never would have happened without donors who are forward thinking, who want to sort of spark more of a movement, that they realize that most of the world's capital is, is not in philanthropy. It's in other forms. It may be commercially oriented or government oriented. And they want to harness that capital in a way to make a positive difference in the world. And they do a lot with philanthropy. This is be called catalytic philanthropy. It's philanthropy, if it, doesn't, if it doesn't work in this area, then those things don't take off. So they invested a lot of philanthropy to make this fund work. It sounds like what you're saying is that people need to make money. And, you know, I mean, some people would think, well, that's a silly thing to say, but I mean, uh, the, the approach is different. It's not a, a, a give money approach. It seems to be, let's work together. Well, Habitat does a ton of different things around the world. There's a lot of philanthropy. Mostly what it does is it raises money as a charity will, and it puts that to work for the benefit of the poor. And that money doesn't come back to the donors. It's given out of the generosity of spirit and generosity of heart. That's mostly what it does. But their CEO, Jonathan Reckford, said, how do we do more? How do we, how do we encourage others to come with us on this journey to help people get out of, of misery and desperation? And some of those people that they're encouraging are those that are more like investors. They realize, okay, I need this money back. I don't need a great return, but I do need this money back. This is what I control. How can I help with this money as well? Not just my philanthropic checkbook, but my investment checkbook. There are a lot of people that want to say, let me use both. Hmm. And, and Habitat and their donors are investors as well. And many of their donors have said, I'll give you a check to help on the philanthropic side, and let me help on the investment side. And so we're showing both. And Global Washington has a lot of folks that do both of those things. And they're both making a, a wonderful difference in the world. Well, Ed, thank you very much. Thank for you for asking. Rainmaker believes we can change